Hello, Mirdas. Welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you so much for having me. Hello, Bollywood Life. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got. I got to know that you're in Goa right now. So tell me, uh, what's been up? What have you been up to in Goa? Nothing much. My my wife and I have had a small house here for about eight or nine years, and so you know we're used to coming. We're here about three months a year, four months a year, and so I'm just every time I do a tour or I do a movie, I try and come down for. you know about a month and decompress in this thing so now when the lockdown opened up we came down you know we're here for a bit all right so it's like a fortress of solitude for you like superman has it this this go house is that for you <laughs> yeah i think so uh, i mean there's not too much solitude there's my wife and my bulldog so i'll be honest uh, solitude is the last thing i'm getting but still right. it's it is a fort <laughs> okay but the good thing that you did during the lockdown is your new uh, special that came on your website is inside out yes. right uh, you did this uh, stand up special for raising money can you tell us something around it and what was the idea behind it and how did you come up with so this so the idea the idea was I, i was doing these these charity shows online for zoom where every night we would sell about 250 300 tickets and every night we would give the money to a different charity and at some point i realized oh wow this is a special and i can put it out but you know uh, comedians usually you should wait about a year and a half or two between stand up comedy specials you know because you want things to happen in your life you you want to give the audience some breathing time as well and it's been touch wood a very good year you know there was a netflix special and there was hasmuk as well uh so i went to netflix and said i want to try and raise money with this and netflix supported me and so we just put it out on my website because you know there's a a very large community of people who don't have a subscription to amazon hotstar netflix some kind of platform but have a little bit of money that they would be willing to give to charity so we put it out on my website for 30 rupees minimum uh and you know 9 crores maximum if that's what you want to give uh and whatever you feel like you're comfortable spending we put the money towards four charities voice of stray dogs which is feeding stray animals cry which is educating underprivileged children in a pandemic help age india which is doing elderly survival kits and doctors for you which is doing protective kits for frontline workers all so right. it's all towards covid relief okay so tell me how was the response that you did can you enlighten us on that uh yeah it's been insane i'll be honest with you because you know i, I thought yaar yeah, mere website pe hai kuch log dekhenge etc we launched at 7:30 pm on friday mm-hmm. the website uh went down by 737 okay. uh so we had to upgrade it by 8 o'clock then we had to upgrade the website again at 10:30 then we had to upgrade it at 2 o'clock then we had to, had to upgrade it at 4 a.m. Whoa. so now we have the largest possible server that we can get and it's insane i never expected this kind of a response but that's what happens when you do something good and you're working towards it it works out in in a very strange way you know you're getting so much response from people you have you haven't even imagined i guess that's because of the good deed that you're doing i don't think of it as a good deed yeah. i think of it as a you know as payback in terms of i was able to do 35 40 shows or mera jo artistic muscle hai i was able to flex that you know and people tuned in from everywhere in the world you know in, in a single show we would have somebody from wuhan and poland and norway and you know russia so this is my way of giving back and kind of saying thank you for letting me practice my art form even in a pandemic because nahi to main pagal ho jata if i was not able to do comedy this stand up special was more of a interactive session with uh, with people who were there or it was yeah. how, how, how did it go so the the whole theme of the special is just me asking people what are your dreams right now what's the first thing you want to do in the world is normal again and people answering that question so it it was nice to put my audience front and center you know for, for a change because you've seen enough shows where i talk about myself and meri tanhai now it was time for your tanhai to come out and raise some money all right so you were you were you were like a guiding angel at that time or you were just taking it from them and just making fun of them <laughs> i don't i don't i i make fun of them i definitely do uh in a quite brutal manner but in a friendly <laughs> manner as well I don't know yeah I don't think of these things as very large things all I knew was are ye special ho sakta hai teen special ho gaye uh I still want to fundraise my entire goal has been to fundraise over the pandemic so how do I do it so that's right. it, for me life is baby steps yeah I don't think of these angel angel and all that's not how I think that's so sweet of you I like that all right so let's talk about something else right now you know uh, can we talk about OTT boom that's been happening in India right now because of the lockdown OTT platforms are booming right now you know uh Wait, I want to know about from uh, know from you as well. What do you think of such platforms? You know, Amazon, Netflix, and uh, the OTT platform that we have right now, and how I brave think it's, are, it's great. 
I said, I think it's great. It opens you up to artistic exploration that you never were able to do before. You know, uh, only on an OTT platform am I able to uh, write the show that I want to be in or produce the show that I want to be in or produce shows for somebody else to be in along with acting and along with do stand-up comedy or take an audience from stand-up and drive them towards an acting performance. Earlier, nobody was in the game of content creation multitasking. There was just Farhan Akhtar, right? Correct. Everybody's like, yeah, Farhan Akhtar sab kuch karta hai, and nobody else is allowed to do it. Correct. Now, because of OTTs, we're all allowed to do it as well. Mm-hmm. And I think it also gives a chance to people like myself, who are, you know, not uh, Bollywood, Bollywood talent, you know, in terms of uh, very commercial talent, etc. To try offbeat things. Because mm-hmm. otherwise, you know, for it to work theatrically, a very big star has to believe in an, in, in an offbeat concept for it to work theatrically. True. But True. Uh, because of the digital, this thing, someone who's just, you know, uh, creative like myself, but not a very big star can believe in an offbeat concept and execute it. Mm-hmm. All right. But tell me something, getting your movie released on a movie or a show released on uh, OD platform, does it take away the box of pressure that we used to, like actors used to have? Does it add to any other pressure that, it, that we don't know of? Yeah, right. I'll be very honest with you. There, there is... If you compare the pressure of standing in front of 20,000 people and cracking a joke and that may be going well or maybe not going well, all right. the box office does not seem like pressure at all. I'll be very honest with you. Like all right. It's not even half as nerve-wracking as telling a joke. So, Okay, but Will, you haven't done a movie in past one and a half years. So what are the plans for that? Uh, what, what are the future projects? Can you tell us something about yeah, that? Abhi to, I haven't worn pants in five months. So I, God knows when shooting will start, etc. Et so we'll see. Abhi to chaddi penne ka plan hai. Uh, I think I'll shoot a movie maybe first week December or first week January. I'll get into shooting a movie, a sweet right. rom com. So, yeah. Okay, but actors are going outside right now for shoots and everything. Do you have any apprehension for going going to the shoot during this time, or what do you think about the whole situation that's been uh, that's on right now? I think uh, we have to wait for it to be scientifically completely sorted before we head out, especially because you know on shoots we don't tend to be the most disciplined lot. So I, I think this is one of those. Things where the large productions should set the tone, you know, and the professional productions should set the tone for everybody to follow. So we'll see here. Abhi to, a lot of things are unpredictable in this new world. That's true. That's true. Uh, Vira, I have a segment that I've prepared for you. It's called Lockdown Diaries, all right? I will, I'll mm-hmm. ask you some questions during lockdown. People have been asking on social media, all right? Just generic fun right. questions. So can you be, uh, it will be a quick questionnaire, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll just take around five minutes of yours. Okay, so first thing that I get question is like, Okay, one hidden talent you discovered while staying at home? Sleeping. I have not had time to sleep in 10 years. Apparently, I'm very good at it. I've forgotten how to do it, but I'm very good at it. All right, okay. Uh, who has impressed you with his or her social media posts during the lockdown? Uh, that guy, uh, uh, <laughs> Fauci. Because I've never seen somebody deliver so much bad news and have such a sweet smile while he's doing it. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, if you had a choice to get quarantined with a celeb, who would you choose as your quarantine partner and why? Uh, Adar Poonawala, because he has the vaccine. <laughs> so maybe we can quarantine together. So yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, what shows are you currently binge watching and you recommend your fans to watch? Uh, I watched the Netflix Mafia documentary. I watched the Michael Jordan documentary Last Dance. I saw uh, Raat Akeli hai. That was very nice. Yeah, those three. What is your favorite or least favorite? Ghar ka kaam, jhadu, pocha, bartan, everything included. Which is your favorite and which is your least favorite? Let's see, Baba, I'll be very honest with you, all right? Uh, I don't think there's, you don't deserve a Nobel Prize for cleaning your own house and washing your own plate, etc., etc. I think if you've been a bachelor long enough and you've stayed outside India long enough, you're used to washing your plate and cleaning your own house. Yahapar tumara koi aake karta hai, so aisa sab kuch karne ko aata hai, or itna special nahi hai, wo cheese karne. Okay. <laughs> Most used app on your phone while sitting at home? Uh, classic FM. It's a classical music app. I like classical music. It helps me think. All right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> snack that you keep munching on? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. During lockdown, to shower or not to shower? What's the buffer time? How many days you can go without shower? And... Balti bath. That's the best one. Why, why to shower at all? There's nothing like a good balti bath. All right. Last one. Okay. When you hear someone sneeze, uh, should we say bless you or just run for life? 
when you hear somebody sneeze uh, you should say bless you if you can see them sneeze or feel them sneeze you should run for your life <laughs> right. thank you so much this was a question that i had right. around lockdown thank you so much for chatting with me veer uh, best of luck yeah sure, uh, i look forward for your stand up again and thank do you. such good things in life uh, we all hope for that sure. see you buddy thank you, thank you. bye